Hi, in this video, we will look at sorting data using a single column sorting, first in Excel and then in SQL. But before we jump to both Excel and SQL, let us understand a little bit of theory. So in SQL, when you want to sort data, you will use something called order by clause. If you remember the previous example that we had done, in the previous video, we had used, uh, we had grouped our customers and calculated the top five customers and we had grouped it, grouped it by the customer name and we had also done a descending sort so that we can look at our top five customers. There, for sorting, we have used the, we had used the order by clause in which we specify the column by which the data set should be sorted and the order. Now, in Excel, uh, very simply, you can sort the data by going to the data tab, doing the sort, applying filters, and then choosing a sort. Now, very quickly, let us look at a practical demonstration of how we would do this. So let me just turn off my PowerPoint and navigate to my folder, data sets, and global superstore. So this is the data set that we have been working with uh, throughout this page, and we'll continue to work on this data set only. The whole idea is not to work on 50 new data sets. The idea is to be take one and cover as many examples as I can. And I'm pretty sure that um, even, if I reach, if I, even if I were to reach 100 videos, I would still have so much more that I can extract in terms of learning from this data set. Right, uh, so if you remember, we had created a pivot last time for top five customers. And in the pivot, it is fairly simple. You can just right click, go to sort, and choose ascending or descending, largest, smallest, or smallest, largest. The other way to sort is you can go to the data tab at the top, the data tab, and here you have the sort, and under the sort and filter group, you have sort. Right? Now, if I were to sort this data, let's say I remove my filters, I apply my filters. When I apply my filters, in each of these column headings, I have a drop down that appears. And I can choose how I want to sort. If there's a color applied, I can choose sort by colors. Now, since this is Excel and the data is visually visible to us, we have this option called sort by color or no fill, wherein there is a white color. But uh, in SQL, we won't uh, be able to find this option. Right? Now, if you come to the group here, sort and filter group, here you have sort Z to A and A to Z. This sorting works basis your active cell. So if my active cell was on state and if I sort A to Z, it will sort everything basis that column. So sorting here, if the filter was not applied and you wanted to sort the data, you would just go and select the column basis which you want to sort the data and then just click on sort Z to A or A to Z, right? But if you wanted to do some custom sorting, as in multi-level sorting, multi-column sorting at levels. So this we'll do later on, we'll look at it in the video. But this is typically how you would do this in Excel. Another way to do this is by writing the sort function. So let me just zoom in just a second. Yeah, perfect. And let me go to right. Take care. So I can decide to sort my data by Excel sort functions. I can choose an array. So let's say I wanted to choose my customer name. I can press comma, I can press control backspace to come back to the formula. I can choose my sort index or even without specifying that, I can just specify my sort order. Let's say I say descending, I can put one. I don't want to sort by a specific column. I can press enter and I'm getting a spell error, not sure why. So my array is C2 to, let's say C10. Yeah, okay, I did not specify an array. So if I were to sort, this is how I would do it in Excel. So that we have something called a sort, right? Oh, sorry, that'll be minus one, not two, right? This is how you would sort the data. So you would either do it manually here, you have a formula and there's also another formula called sort by where you let's say select a, select my customer range 
press control backspace. Uh, in fact, let me just select C, want to see 10 itself, right? And here I want to sort by something. So in that case, let's say I want to sort by my sales. So I will select and I will choose the sort order, let's say descending, that is highest to lowest. And I can press enter and I get an error, which is C1 to C10. Yeah. So why did the reason that I got an error was because in the formula here I specified C1 to C10 and here I specified L2 to L10. So those ranges have to be equal within the formula. So if this was also C2 to C10, right, in that case this would work. So here we've just done a simple sorting and here we've done a sort by. Let me just put those formulas at the top for you to look at it. Perfect. Right? So we have these methods of how we can sort a single column. Now, if we come back to SQL and we want to sort our data, so first we would need to look at our entire data. Let me just delete this query and write a new one. Perfect. So let's say I want to look at my entire data. So I'll write select asterisk from, let me zoom in. Orders compact. Asterisk is for all, right? And if I just run this, it'll show me the entire data set. But right now, you don't decide how to sort it. If I write order by, right? And I specify a column. So let's say in this case, I know that I have five markets. So I want to sort by my market. So I will write market, right? And then I will specify if I want to sort in an ascending or descending order. So for ascending, I will write ASC, and if it is descending, I will have to write DESC, and I'll put colon to end that query. And when I run the code, you will see that my market has been sorted in a descending order. I have USCA, and then at the bottom, I will have Africa, and then on top of that, Asia. Similarly, if I had to make this descending, I would write ASC for ascending, sorry, ascending, and if I run this, you will see that Africa, Asia will come at the top, so Africa will come at the top. After Africa, you will have Asia, and then Europe, and then USCA at the bottom. So this is single column sorting in Excel and then in SQL. Thank you, and I will uh, do a few more videos on sorting because there are multiple ways in which you can sort data. So I'll do a few more videos on this. Stay tuned for more content. Thank you for watching.